Okay, I want to show you my favorite online job board resource, and that is Indeed.com. I'm sure you've probably discovered it on your own, but maybe you haven't underst maybe understood the power that it has. And it really is one of the most powerful tools out there, because what it does is it it's an aggregate. It's a job board aggregate, meaning that it goes out and grabs positions from company job boards, small niche websites, local job boards, everything into one place. Now everything has its faults and I won't go into that but I have found it to be very useful and there's a couple things you want to check out that maybe you haven't dug into down here toward the bottom I definitely would encourage you to look at the tools section I won't go into all the different tools in, in this video but there's a Firefox plugin, a Google toolbar button, there's something for Facebook job search email job alerts, just all kind of neat little uh, tools that can be helpful and effective for you as well. And there's also a forum section. As long as you don't waste a lot of time, forum section uh, can definitely be helpful. You can get in here and look according to company, according to type of job, city, different areas, and you can learn a lot about the inside parts of a company and find out how people are treated behind closed doors. But uh, let me show you kind of where the magic begins. Once you do a basic search for your city and the type of position you're searching after, then one of the first things you can do is right here at the top, you can click on get new jobs for the search by email and you can stick in your email in there, hit that button, and what it will do is it will email you on a daily basis all the new positions that they found that meet your criteria which is really cool and it's actually what I use every morning when I first get into the office that's what I check and it'll say 24 new positions found and I will peruse through there remember as a recruiter I want to stay on top of what's going on out there but I don't want to waste a lot of time on the job board so it's just another way for me to see okay what new is out there with in the industry that I serve but here's what's great if you look at this position here and you click on this more button look at all this and this may be an area that you've never really explored before but I would definitely encourage you to do so you can look by contacts for this company on Facebook and LinkedIn and you say well why is this important this is important because you always want to be networking first remember I said only about 20 percent of the people find their jobs on the online job boards most of the time it's through networking so what you can do is you can use the power of the internet with networking to get more results so you could find either people that you know on Facebook or LinkedIn that might be with that particular company you can uh, try to get in another way is basically the approach and I'll tell you why it's important it's important because I can't tell you how many times I've had a position I'm recruiting on and the company was also advertising for that position out there on a job board somewhere and then I would call up a candidate and say I have found a job for you and they would say oh well actually I saw that job as well and I applied and I would ask have you heard anything no I have not heard anything so I would hang up the phone call the hiring manager the person who's the decision maker and ask them have you seen a resume for so and so because they said they sent their resume to you but I they're just the ideal candidate so I'd be surprised if you hadn't seen the resume and I would say eight out of ten times the response is no I hadn't seen that resume and you can call it what you will if it gets lost in a black hole but here's what I have found to be proven to be true nine times out of ten when you apply to a position online it's going to be thrown into HR sometimes with someone making twelve thirteen dollars an hour who's in charge of doing the screening and what's worse is even if it's an HR professional they may not have the background that you have and they may not forward it on because they don't really have a solid grasp on it anyway so I wish I could say that all of them were efficient and effective at getting the resume in the correct place but they're not so sometimes networking is better because it just shows your resume a little bit more attention as opposed to just another applicant sitting in there with an email that's being unread